الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين الله سبحانه وتعالى say in his noble book كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمْ سِيَامْ كَمَا كُتِبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَأَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Allah glorifies He the Most High as stated in the Noble Quran it has been prescribed upon you fasting just as it was prescribed to those before you and perhaps for you to attain a taqwa Then the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Ida jaa Ramadan Futiha abwaabu jannah Wa ghulika abwaabu nar Wa sufidat ash-shayateen Then the Messenger of Allah says When the month of Ramadan comes The doors of jannah Or the gates of jannah are open And the gates of the hellfire are closed and the shayateen are locked down, chained down, or little of evil, shar. In Islam, we have arkana Islam al Kams. In Islam, we have five pillars. And from some of the pillars of Islam, you have a rukn, you have a pillar. That are a yomiya, nahu as salat. You have some pillars, which is a daily pillars, which means the salat, for example, is a daily thing that is done. Salat is five times a day. Then we have some rukn. We have we have a pillar, which is. Marra, one particular time. For example, Al Hajj, which one performed once in his life. Then we have pillars, or rukn, like the pillar of Siyam, the pillar for fasting, which come yearly. It's a pillar that comes yearly. As we look and see, for example, these flowers, these particular flowers that you are looking at, these are something very similar to the rukm of Siyam. It's very similar to the pillar of fasting. So, for example, if you notice with the flowers, we don't see these particular flowers in this tree, for example. We don't see them every day or every month. We don't see them, for example, flowers in the winter time. All right? You see flowers in its specific season, its specific month. So the fast of Ramadan is like very similar to the flowers you see. If you notice these flowers that we are looking at, that there are flowers that only come out for a specific season. And when this specific season pass, the flower shreds away, it dies, it goes away, and we don't see these flowers again till, until another specific season or another season when the season come around the next year. This is like Siam. So the pillar of the fast, this is a pillar that's not like any other pillar. It's not the Rukm al yomiya or Rukm al marra It's not like the pillar that is every day like the Salat or the pillar that comes that is only once in the life like Al-Hajj. Alright? Al-Hajj al marra Once in the person's life. Rather yet, this is a pillar that comes around every year for one month. Every year for one month and it's very similar to the flowers you see in the tree these flowers you don't see them every day you only see them from a specific season a specific month for a number of days and weeks 
then we don't see it no more until the next year. This is like the Siam fi Ramadan. And when this time pass, just like the flowers, if you don't pay attention to them, the season will pass very quickly. That specific, this specific season, when you see these flowers, they're the beautiful. If you don't pay attention and don't notice them, in a few weeks, these flowers will be gone. Either they will die off, the leaves will uh, die away or blow away, or will come something else, or we will see something else. So while we, while this season comes along, we will take advantage, right? We look at the flowers, we enjoy their beauty. This is like the month of Ramadan. The, Ram, the month of Ramadan, huwa mozim adhim. The month of Ramadan is a mighty season, and it only comes in a particular time for tip, uh, particular numbers of days. For for a particular month, for one month, for a certain amount of days, which come around only once a year. So this is the time that we take advantage. Just like we take advantage and look at the beauties and we enjoy the beauty of these flowers because we know that these particular flowers we see in these trees, we don't see them every day or every, every month. We know that it only comes for a particular season. And once that season is gone, we will not see these flowers on these trees until the next year. And this is Ramadan. When Ramadan comes, or the month of Ramadan comes, this is the month where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, any type of acts of ibadah or sadaqah, ibadah like sadaqah, salat, salatun nawafil, voluntary salat, giving charity, Whatever that we do, we know in this specific beautiful month that ziyadah, that whatever we do, the reward is increased. The reward is what? It is increased in this particular month. So don't let the month of Ramadan pass and come in and we are not prepared. We are not benefiting from the month. This is the month to put away many things. Month to put away eating and drinking in the day hours. Month to put away a luxury. It's the month we put away all every type of luxury. And we give it up for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we continue ourselves with doing acts of ibadah, acts of worship. To qarabah ila illallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Getting near to Allah with our siyam, with our fast, with our qiyam, with our standing and praying. With our sadaqah, with giving sadaqah. And perhaps that we are able to what? La'allakum taqtakun. And perhaps for us to attain taqwa. And just like these particular beautiful flowers we see in this tree, it's not going to be forever. It's only for a certain amount of days. And we don't see it again until the next year. The best way. To prepare for the month of Ramadan is by reading about the etiquettes of the fast, the ins and outs of Siyam, what a, what a Muslim must do in Ramadan, what a Muslim must stay away from, what is considered to be fasting, what are the things that break the fast, what are the things that we do in the day hours of Ramadan that get us close to Allah, what are the acts of worship that we do in Ramadan and so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can accept our fast. What are things that are to stay away from? What are the type of speeches to stay away from? All these things can be add, added up to saying that, hey, we need to know about the fast. So I have prepared a book which is called Concise Fiqh for Ramadan. They answer all the questions about Ramadan, meaning what the Muslim must do and stay from in Ramadan. A very concise and small book that gets straight to the point. And the book is titled Concise Fiqh 
for Ramadan. Concise Fiqh for Ramadan by Abu Al Bara Muhammad Amriki. And you can find this book on Amazon just by typing in on Amazon Concise Fiqh for Ramadan. And you can get every other detail about the book in the description of this video. And I will ask you to subscribe to my channel. And please, if you like this video, please share it. Butterfall, Allahu, people.